Hi guys, this is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy. I operate a home daycare out of my home. And today I wanted to show you a schedule that I created for the home daycare. And I placed it right here on this entranceway. Uh, this little tiny piece of a wall that goes into the rest of our home. There's a few stairs right here, and we have this uh, entranceway that housed the schedule perfectly. Now, I just created a table in Microsoft Word and used 32 font uh, till I could get all the pieces on this page that I liked in a large enough font. Now, the background pieces are sheets of scrapbooking paper and what I did is I laminated each sheet of the scrapbooking paper I separately laminated the schedule pieces cut them out I first taped the scrapbooking paper on to the wall until I got them lined up correctly to where I liked them and then um, I came back and hot glued those to the wall. They'll come off easily without damaging the wood. I, I can't speak for your home, but for mine, it, it doesn't tear it up. And then what I did is after I laminated each section of our schedule, I taped them the way where I wanted them. I separated each row with a row of dots and then it just so happens that it worked perfectly with one row of dots left and that did not I did not plan that that just happened so I wanted to show you this I also have it according to the um, rainbow colors this is like a hot pink but you would that would be considered like a red, orange, yellow, green. Now new, normally we have uh, what blue, indigo, and violet, but it's uh, decent enough. So if you're interested, this is what our schedule is. We have arrival time somewhere around eight to nine a.m. Um, I also have occasional children that come anywhere between six and 6.30, but average they average somewhere between 8 and 9. Um, for the early arrivers, we check diapers around uh, the 8.25 mark, 8.30. We have an infant that likes to be fed somewhere around 8.30, between 8.30 and 9. These time schedules you'll see overlap. That's because they're fluid. Uh, many things overlap each other, and the time frames um, are general. So they, it's about a half an hour to an hour time range between these um, blocks of schedule as well. So I try to have a circle time somewhere around 9 a.m. That's when you do a calendar, weather, shapes, your alphabet, your counting, your colors. I like to do some music and some body moves, movement. Uh, we have another diaper check for the late arrivers. Then I have a toddler that likes to eat somewhere between 9.30 and 10, and he might be finishing up somewhere around about 10.30 or a little bit before. The baby may go down around between 9.30 and 10.30. I do another diaper check around 10.30 when, uh, if the baby decides he's getting up or if the toddler needs it. Now, the diapers are not changed every, for each child every single time because I'm checking like every hour. This is one child might be changed on one hour and then the other child might be opposite hour uh, according to when they arrive and when it's needed. Um, I like to have some kind of table play with smaller pieces with the toddler who um, can handle smaller pieces but but the baby can't. 
Um, I have some free play or outdoor play arranged after the table play. This table play does not take a whole half an hour. It may sometimes if the toddler is that interested. And this is a variety of, ish, of uh, games and table items that we have. But usually after that, he will have some free play. We have diaper changing again. The baby is usually up at this time. Uh, the baby likes to take a morning um, nap and an afternoon nap. So we usually sit them down together for a meal around noon to 12.30. And the baby and the toddler will take an afternoon nap. Now that could lead anywhere from 12.30 to 3.30 if one or both sleeps that long. They might go down at 1 and get up at 3. So um, it's sort of fluid. We have another diaper check when they get up. We have, uh, they may get up early enough that they will need to have a meal before my after schoolers arrive. And then they will be having some free play after they eat and get their diaper changed before the afternoon bus comes. The after schoolers come straight in and go to the restrooms and uh, go to wash their hands. Then they have a snack, and they tend to, while they're at the table, like to go ahead and play with Play-Doh, and that's including the toddler. Usually he likes to sit at the table with the uh, after-schoolers and have a snack or um, play with Play-Doh and do art, included anything that he can do uh, that the after-schoolers are able to do. Um, about a quarter till five, or around about that time, um, I start prepping the toddlers for their parents to come and the baby for their parents to come, changing their diapers, getting their items ready. We have an afternoon cleanup time. Um, now the after schoolers will be either inside or outside with free play or working on uh, at the table. In the evening times, after we have a cleanup and a, we have a music and storytelling and books, just in those final minutes uh, while they're waiting for their parents to come. And then we just have a cleanup sort of before and after. We preparate, we get prepared about a quarter to six for the parents to come and saying our goodbyes and then we close at 6 p.m. So I thought it turned out pretty pretty well. And I hope you like this and I hope this gives you some inspiration and how you can create a schedule. It doesn't have to be this big, even if you're able to get it all on one sheet. You could always take a piece of scrapbooking paper and put it in the back and that saves you on the expense of ink on your printer. This would be a lot less expensive using the scrapbooking paper that I usually get this uh, purchase it when I find it on sale so I usually never pay full price for the scrapbooking paper. So I hope this is something that gives you some inspiration. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed taking a look at a little sneak peek at our daycare. Until next time, like, subscribe, comment, click the little bell. Thanks.